Let's build a basic circuit. For this project, we're going to need the 9 volt battery with the wire clip or uh, wires free at the end here and a 330 ohm resistor. And if you don't know how to read the resistor, uh, there's a video just below this video to teach you how. It's a short video, but you're going to be looking at the uh, markings here on the resistor itself. It'll be orange, orange, brown, gold. Again, you can learn more about that in the video below. And you're going to get need a uh, LED light, a light emitting diode, and uh, and of course your breadboard. I might uh, just turn my breadboard sideways like this for a moment uh, while I build this. You can orient it either way. Uh, to your work. So I'm going to uh, remind you about this piece of uh, our LED light. It has a short lead and a long lead. The short lead is the negative. And I'm going to put the long lead in uh, this first row here, row number one. I'm just going to sp spread these legs apart on the diode a little bit. and it doesn't really matter where we put these in just so that we pay attention to how the electricity is flowing through here so I have bent my resistor legs like this and of course your resistors may have uh, come in a little package that looks like this and if so just pull them one out and I'm gonna put this one lead of the resistor in the same row as the leg of the resistor. So I have both of these in row four. That means that they are connected. Uh, and now it's time to add power. Now, the way that the, uh, the black lead here on the battery is the negative end, and so I'm going to put that over here and stick this in in the same row as my resistor leg over here and it just so happens to be row 10. Um, it could have been any other row but it happens to be 10 and now I'm going to put this uh, red lead into row number one the same row as this lead of the resist or the LED. So I'm going to put that here and you'll notice my uh, I'm going to turn this light off maybe you can see a little bit better my LED lights up and uh, if I disconnect this from this row the LED goes out. Now notice that if I put this jumper wire or this uh, battery lead on the other side of the brake that n even in the same row that electricity is not flowing through and that's because uh, everything on the other side of this brake is not connected on either side here. So I'm going to put this back over here and you'll see that my LED lights up. Now, the, uh, in the video below you'll see a, uh, a longer uh, five minute video about what a, a light emitting diode does, how it works. Uh, but one of the interesting things about a diode, whether it's light emitting diode or another type of diode, is that it prevents, it allows electricity to flow in one direction it doesn't allow it to flow in the other. So uh, if I were to take out my power and then I'm going to flip my LED and watch what happens when I power this up. Nothing. The electricity, the diode is preventing the electricity from f completing the circuit. Uh, it cannot do it. So uh, again, I'm going to complete the circuit. I'm going to reverse the diode. And this doesn't harm the diode. And I'm going to put this back here in one of these strips. And my diode lights up again. Now, again, one of the things that I want to point out is that we would never want to uh, use this or make this circuit without this resistor. And the reason being, although we could light up the LED, 
uh, without the resistor and just complete a circuit just without the resistor using just the LED, it would burn the LED out quickly. So uh, that is the a basic circuit.